to configure the load right C2880 uh, indicator, um, the first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and hit the wrench key. And then you'll hit the check mark key once you get on setup, and it'll ask you for an access code, and you'll enter 6246, and then hit the check mark key or enter key. Um, and the configuration that we're going through today is going to be um, just the basic configuration that you'll need. Um, so you'll want to then go ahead and select scale number one, and then go into weighing. And then you'll want to scroll down to uh, filter, and you'll want to change this. This is normally on medium, uh, and you'll want to change this to extreme, and then hit the check mark key. Um, and then you'll want to go into the units and change that from tons and kilograms to tons and pounds. And then you'll leave the rest of these settings on their default setting as well. Uh, then you'll hit the wrench key to go back and you'll go into machine you'll leave the f uh, frame style on frame and then you'll keep scrolling through these default settings until you get to um, load cell size and you'll um, if you're using 150 kilogram load cells um, then you'll just leave this at 150 but uh, if you're using 250 or 500 kilogram uh, load cells, then you'll want to change that. And in this instance, we're using 250 kilogram load cells, so we'll change this to 250. Then you'll leave these at their default settings. And when you get to the idler gap, um, this is measured in millimeters. Uh, so if you measure this in centimeters or inches, you'll just have to remember to make that conversion to millimeters. Um, so in this example, we'll just say that uh, the idler gap was 2,450 millimeters. Hit enter. And then you'll leave the rest of these settings on um, their default settings as well. Then you'll go ahead and hit the wrench key to go back one. And hit the wrench key again to go back a second time. And then you'll scroll to um, options. And when you get into options, you'll scroll to tilt type and change this from none to LR966. Then hit the check mark key. And then hit the uh, wrench key to go all the way back out to the main menu. And that's uh, how to just configure the basic settings for. Um, the load right C2880 scale.